is going on everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo, senior editor here at TheCoalition.com and I'm back again with a brand new unboxing and impressions video for you guys to check out here on the YouTube channel. We're going to be taking a look at this new bag from Solo New York. It's, this is the Region Backpack from Solo New York. This is part of their new collection that they actually just sent me in the mail not too long ago. So big shout outs to Solo New York for that. So like usual, like before when we looked at their previous bag uh, from Solo New York, they actually sent me a little card which I'm going to open up on here. But this is the bag itself. This is the Region Backpack. A little bit different, different color than the previous bag we looked at. It actually has some more zippers and more pockets that we'll take a look at in just a second. But of course, let's take a look at this actual postcard that they sent me. They have my name on it. And for whatever reason, Solo New York is very classy with their, uh, what is it, with their postcards or little messages that they send to everybody that they actually allow to review their bags. So it looks like there's another postcard from Solo New York, which is pretty cool. So in here, let me just read it out and make sure I can actually read it. Okay, yeah, I can read this out. So it says, Dear Jake James, we hope that you enjoy the draft backpack. Here's another for you to try out. Uh, hope you love it as well, the solo team. So big shout outs to the solo team there. Cool postcard. Again, very classy. Okay, they always got a little classiness with their stickers and stuff in the name. So big shout out to you guys for allowing us to check this out. But let's take a look at the backpack. Now, the region backpack's a little bit different than the previous one we looked at, so it's got that front pocket here on the side. I guess you could put like, you know, any sort of like little knickknacks or quick things you want to put in the front. Uh, it's got one, two, three little openings here on the backpack. So we got the front one, similar to the other backpack. Let's get rid of some of this paper. This is kind of like fluffing it up, of course. So I can get this on camera for you guys, but there you go. There's the first section. We got a couple bags, little inside sections here. They can put, again, some of your tech, like your phone, uh, any other sort of like, you know, small like, you know, water bottle or, bottle or like snacks or anything of the sort. Here's another one, another section here, which I'm guessing that as you get towards the back of this backpack, you might want to actually put like a tablet or any sort of like, you know, smaller laptop. I would say about maybe about 13, 15 inches. I don't know if I would necessarily put a 17 inch laptop in here. It seems like it'd be a little bit too big, but I would say about 15 inches or less roughly, you know, as far as like monitor screen size there. In this backpack, and again, there's nothing else here. I'll show you guys again. There's nothing else inside this pocket here. I actually maybe would have loved maybe another little section here as far as like pockets, you know, inside this portion of the backpack. Let's take a look at the back part now, the bigger section, which exactly this is, you know, exactly what I would have loved to see. I would have loved to have that in both sections. So here in this front section, this kind of thing right here, this is where you would actually put the laptop. But I like the little extra bit of support because I feel like, again, if you're going to be storing a lot of tech, if you're going to be storing, you know, a tablet or any sort of like a Roku device, your phones, or again, even a Nintendo Switch, at least in my case, I would probably put like a Nintendo Switch in here or a Nintendo 3DS or even a PlayStation Vita. I would love those extra little pockets, you know, because of the chargers and all those other stuff. But the back section is just the extra pocket here for like your laptop and then whatever else you're gonna put here in the front so unlike some of the previous backpacks that we've seen from solo New York this one has a little bit less as far as like pockets like within the actual little slits themselves but this one does have a couple good sections you know again if you're gonna be taking a trip over the weekend or anything of the sort you know quick travel you know maybe you're going on a multi-hour trip you know driving someplace or going camping whatever this will be kind of cool to bring with you or again if you're down here at least in South Florida you're probably going down to Bayside you want to bring a quick backpack with you to like the beach or something or just to the boardwalk this will be something cool to do so now on the sides obviously like the other backpacks you have these little slits here where you could put like you know water water bottle, Coke can, Pepsi can, whatever it is that you're drinking, you can put it there on the side or any other sort of like, you know, tech that's, again, it's a little bit more cylindrical, you can put there on the side. So overall, this is a decently well-designed backpack. Again, I'm gonna put it on, just, you guys can't see me on the camera, but I'm actually gonna see how it feels putting it on, you know, with the backpack itself. Again, just wearing it pretty good. Like I said, I feel like I could put like my laptop, again, 15 inches or less in here. It would probably feel good. Uh, I wouldn't like recommend putting a lot of weight in this backpack. Like again, don't put like a 17 inch laptop. Don't put like a heavy console game system or anything of the sort in something like this. This one is a little bit much more for lighter travel, you know, to look stylish while you're bringing in, you know, some of your essentials with you over the weekend or whatever amount of time that you're actually gonna be spending wherever you're going. So overall, those are my impressions of the Solo New York region backpack. Decently well-designed backpack, stylish. Again, if you like gray, I know that they have a couple other colors, I'm pretty sure, and variants on their website you guys could check out. But those are my thoughts on this backpack. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Tell me if you guys like this unboxing, unboxing and impressions. I'm all tongue twisted today. If you like this unboxing and impressions, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the Coalition's YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. And let me know any suggestions of certain stuff you guys want us to feature in this series. That being said, we will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace out and stay epic, everybody.